Brandon, let's check it below and look at the top. Getting beeps. Apparently, beeps are bad. What do you think? They're touching somewhere? Oh. Yeah, not good. Remember when I said that nose job we gave the boat was a bad one? Well, you're about to find out why. The good news is we fixed it and you get to see how. Sit back and watch as we rebed the bow pulpit, not once, but twice, all for your viewing pleasure. Well, it might have been someone's fault, but we're not going to point any fingers here. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? Unbed number one. Go! Are you still watching, GoPro? Are you watching? Can you see? And what do you always have to do when you pry something off that's been stuck for 30 years? Clean the joint. I get all this junk off. And if you're wondering why we're rebedding the pulpit, but let me show you. Feels like I got it all. It didn't look like that. Yeah. Hence the need for rebedding. We got leak. Brandon loves to take things apart, <laughs> but it was good while we had the pulpit off and could get in there to do a few improvements and maintenance items on the pulpit. That's it, so we did. <laughs> and then we silicone up right here. Are you using this other clay pump? Mm -mm. Got this all cleaned up, got this all unbent, get that all silicone. And one other thing Philip hasn't yet mentioned, no, not to pull up my britches, although that's important, so. run new wiring to the nav light. After that, she was ready to rebed. <laughs> All right, I think it's time. Are y'all ready? Rebed number one. Listen to video Annie here. This is important. The wire needs to be fed in. All right, let me see. here. Philip was working down below to get the backing plates on and feed the wire through. Not an easy chore, but once we got it pulled through and wired up, we would be in business. All right, we are reconnecting the nav light. So I'm doing new little plug and plays here. That's our nav light that goes up in the bow pulpit. So as we're running, we're red and green. So here we go. Well, let's see what we're ha ha ha. Hey, let's see if they're working. So here's the lights I just hooked up. They came in through this plate here, you saw. And I ran and plugged and played them around right there. And Philip said he turned them on, so let's see. Well, it's the first time I've stepped on the bow pulpit since we, we did it. I can't tell. <laughs> can't tell at all. It's so foggy. I have to go down on the ground. It's crazy stepping on the bow pulpit. It doesn't have a bob stay, so maybe I shouldn't step on it. Sadly, it turned out the reason I could not see the light was not foggy glass. <laughs> What do we got going on here, Captain? Mm -hmm. Running 
light's not working. Huh? Yeah, so we connected it up and um, it keeps shorting out on the DC panel. They're both touching and they're touching the pulpit. Good God. Yeah. So we must have sheared it somewhere. It's got to be. Wow. When they can't do the plate. Do you feel like you had to pull hard? Or? They're grounded to the pulpit and they're they're grounded to each other. So it's not just one, it's both of them. Man, I thought they were pulled through there, but... I'll give you one guess as to what that means. Brandon, over the pulpit, they're going to have to take it off and re-bed it again a second time because we got some nav wires pinched in it. He's waiting on Philip's cue from below. He's way back in there, fighting everything in the anchor chain locker. It's not a fun day. And there was no sense in putting it off, so here we go. Unbed number two. Ready? Did y'all find the pinch? What happened? Yeah, when we shear something, we really do it right. <laughs> I hate to say we're not entirely sure how this happened. We just know it occurred sometime during the first rebed where Brandon and Philip were having to shout this bolt through that bolt from the anchor chain locker up to the bow. But it really didn't matter how it happened. The fact that it happened meant it had to be fixed. So we set to it. Here we go, rebed number two. Wait, video Annie. Where are you going? I'm sick of rebedding the bow pulpit, she said, <laughs> which is pretty true. Uh, I just spent that day actually buried down in the Port Lazarette, painting the bilge in the engine room. Fun, fun. Someday I'll share with you the 834.2 other projects we did on this refit. But thank you boys for handling the rebed this time. Back them out. We were very careful this time to make sure that there was no wires pinched during the bedding. So it was very, very important that we communicated well during the rebed. And just to be sure Brandon and Philip were communicating effectively, we brought in a messenger from bow to locker. What? Put the next bolt in. Which one? You know. Okay. Okay. Top middle. Top middle. So, rebed take two. Not so bad. It wasn't near as hard as those darn windows. Follow along next time as I teach you how to not change out steering cables. Bro, oh, you working? Okay, still nervous, but here's our ratchet device. Which if you just push through, it's kind of like those little kid handcuffs you used to play with as a kid. I put it on my steering cable. GoPro. You are not going to believe this, so <laughs> we got ourselves quite a mess going on here. Yeah, um, Annie screwed up big time, so <laughs> lesson learned. I tell myself I'm just learning how to run steering cables if they break and go up the column. 
without a messenger. That's why I tell myself I'm learning. But anyway, I've been working on it. I think I've got it figured out. My wires are like right there and I can see them. And I can almost reach them. I've got my little grabby tool and everything down there. I just really, really needed a coat hanger. And a buddy right next door, Reg, who you've met, who is a fan on Have Wind Will Travel, found me via the videos, came to the shipyard, had a coat hanger in his truck, saved the day. Like just, what a crazy story. <laughs> Small cruising world and thank you, Reg for the coat hanger. I'm gonna to try to ungoober myself. Wish me luck. Liking these videos? Awesome. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, sign up at havewindwilltravel.com for free copies of my sailing books, and join my journey across the Atlantic, which I'm sharing exclusively on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. Hey. Oh, it didn't pull it through, right? Says Hold me down. Whoa, no. I got to keep on moving. Oh, oh. Brandon likes the beats. We so like to keep him happy. Whoa, no. I got to keep on moving.